Hey folks, it's summer, which means camping, taking your dog, and of course, playing fetch in your favorite places. You three different uh, tools or toys made just for dogs and playing fetch. We are gonna use the standard chucket that you can get pretty much anywhere. The Nerf gun or the Nerf dog gun that shoots uh, tennis balls and the hyper dog uh, slingshot from hyperpet.com. Now what we have back here is we measured off in 10 foot increments uh, with the small cones. So we have measured out to at least 60 foot because I know that the Nerf dog gun says it shoots 75 feet or up to 75 feet. Um, we're gonna be comparing distance. And then obviously, Braden here, who is 12, we are gonna see which one gives you the easiest ease of use for a child. The Nerf dog gun is rated for 14 up. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to cock and load. And then I know that it can be difficult to pull the strings back on the slingshot, but I had to buy the slingshot. I had to try the slingshot because it brought back memories of my youth. So we're going to allow him to try each one and he's going to do a couple throws with each one and we're going to just see basically which one throws the furthest and which one's easiest for him to use. All right, Braden, whenever you're ready. Sure. So we're going to start with the chuck it. Oh. Okay, other than being off to the right, Try to throw it right down the middle. Um, it went pretty far, well past the 60 foot mark. I don't know if we got that on camera, so Braden's gonna do one again and aim right down the middle of those two big trees. Right. All right. So relatively easy throw. He didn't put a whole lot behind it. Well past the 60 foot mark. Give it one more for good measure. Decent distance, and he's not putting a whole lot behind it. He's not throwing his shoulder out of socket. So next, we'll go ahead and try the Nerf gun. We did play with this earlier, and I will say you kind of touch it a little bit to get some distance behind it. Is it loaded? Yeah. yeah. All right, so right at the 50, 60 foot mark, you can actually pick the ball up with the Nerf gun. It has a little push button that allows it to slide forward and then slide it back. Uh, give it a little bit more arch this time. All right, so consistently around 60 foot and we'll let him try one more time and then he's gonna go to the slingshot. Yeah, around 50, 60. All right, and last is the Hyper Pet Slingshot. This is the, the single ball version. They had one that, that holds four balls, and it's just a little storage contraption in the bottom. You see him kind of load one, uh, and now he'll use the slingshot. All right, first attempt, not the most successful. We'll let him do a couple more. Uh, and you know, the beauty of, of like the chuck it is the relatively ease of use. But, you know, I got excited when I saw the Nerf because I really thought that, well, you know, Nerf kids, Nerf toys, why not bring back memories of my youth, things that they have a fun association with and see. 40 foot and this next time pull it back as hard as you can and arch it up in the air uh, like you're trying to shoot over the top of those trees all the way at the end of the field. The slingshot is a little bit difficult, probably not the best choice for kids. For us grown-ups that grew up with slingshots, let me try a slingshot just so you can kind of see a little bit what it will do. It is rather difficult to use. Yes, he that has a so way past the 60 foot mark. I did have to arch it and I had to pull, but it was rather difficult to use. If you use it, you can get decent throws, but just to let me see the chuck it just to kind of compare from going from a from child to an adult. Yeah. 
the chuck it puts it right out there with the slingshot too and i'll try the nerf gun i'm, I'm not going to give high hopes and expectations to the nerf gun because i think it's more of a, a just a fun bazooka type toy for kids and dogs So, you know, still around 50, 60 foot. If I was going to go with one, I'd probably go with the $10 Chuck It. You can find them everywhere. They're relatively easy. Uh, for nostalgia purposes, I do love the slingshot. Uh, the Nerf gun also, a consideration to take in is that they are rather loud. So some dogs may be a little bit fearful of the noise when you first hear it. Uh, we tried it out earlier on a German Shepherd, get over it real quick after the first couple of attempts using it. But you know, it's not, it's not the most impressive thing distance wise. However, I guess if we had a shoulder injury or, you know, issues with the elbow, this is a nice option that allows me to play fetch with my dog. Overall, if I had one, I would probably go with the Chuck It, folks. It's cheap. You can find them at Rural King. You can find them at Walmart, Petco. I mean, we bought all this stuff on Amazon. Everything seen here, we bought off Amazon and just decided to do a fun review for the kids because the kids love to just get out and play fetch with dogs. And for most of us, at the end of the day, we're tired, from it, but we know we have to exercise our dogs. And what do most of us do? We go back and we, we play fetch. And the chuck it, test after test, it's tried and true. I'm gonna stick with it as my first pick, followed up by the slingshot. The nerf is fun, it's not something I'm gonna get out and play fetch with my dog. The other thing about the chuck it ball is, you know, we have German Shepherds. We can get their attention and get them a little bit more into chasing it ask for obedience, mark and reward and throw it. They are gonna get a little bit more into it. It's almost like we're making them miss the tug. We can get them to engage a little bit more to the game, um, thus making it more fun for everybody. Uh, they're moving more, we're moving more. But after our review, folks, we're gonna go with the Chuck It, especially for adults and distances and for ease of use for the children. So that was our Amazon review three things that we we found to play fetch with the dog if there's anything you folks see on amazon that you want us to review let us know like always you can support the channel by utilizing the amazon link in the description it doesn't cost you a thing you just open that link and you shop as you normally would but we hope you like this video uh, stay tuned for more fun with with kids and dogs and just daily interaction with our family don't forget like and subscribe and we'll see you next week